Hey everyone, welcome back to Safety Optional. Today, we are back working on our Jeep Comanche V8 swap project. Our goal for today is to get that V8 dropped in here, test fit, see how it fits and see what parts we need to order to be able to make it permanent. As with any swap, the engine is going to go out in and out a few times, but that's alright, we expect that. But our goal today is just to get it dropped in there for the initial fit, to be able to see where our engine mounts go, how we're going to build our transmission mount, what kind of headers we need, if we can use the stock manifolds, if we need any lifts, how the oil pan is going to clear. There's a lot of things to check out, but it all starts with that initial drop in, and we're doing that today. I just realized there's no way I can work on a truck looking like this. Better change. Let's do this. All right, so one of the key parts that we need to make this swap easy are engine mounts. And we already hit, went ahead and bought some Novak adapter engine mounts. And all what it is is laser cut plate steel there. And these are made to bolt right on to the existing uh, mounts. So that's pretty handy. So we went ahead and test fit those and they look like they're going to work pretty good. So we'll, uh, we're going to pull them off, scrape frame clean, get it kind of prepped up and we'll test fit it tonight and see how these things work. We're probably going to have to pull these bushings off. That thing fits like a glove. Man, that's gonna be super nice. Now we just need to clean up and put them, find the nuts and put them back on there. But it came with only hardware, so. It looks like it bolts through here, and through there, and then a couple new spots here, but that is awesome. Now for the other side, which is way uglier. One thing that we neglected to take off last time was this mud caked transmission cross member. But it really needs to come out in order to swing the new engine in. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And while I'm under here, I'm going to do a little bit of inspection. I already noticed one thing that I really didn't want to see. And it's right here. Rusted floor pan. That sucks. We're going to have to do some work on that. Voila! Ugh. Look at that, bro. Alright, so we got the engine in, but it's got some serious clearance issues all over the place. The power steering pump hits the power steering lines for the Jeep power steering box. So you should pick your camera up and show that directly. I'm going to. I'm going to. The air conditioner hits, and then we've got some clearance issues at the back. So let me show you what we got. Right here on the front, you can see where the lines for the air, com uh, air conditioning compressor are hitting right here. And the bolt form. I'm upside down, because this doesn't bolt through that like that. So we're right about where the motor mount is going to end up. 
The heads clear the firewall. The intake clears the firewall. Yeah, but something has got to go in between there, right? Yeah, that well that mounts to that. Yeah. And then down here, we had to disconnect the Jeep yes, the power steering line where it goes in right there because it's hitting the pulley for the engine power steering pump. So minor things, it looks like the bulk of these can be resolved with <clears throat> a uh, accessory relocation kit for the front of this. Oh, so, sledgehammer. Or sledgehammer. <laughs> But uh, next step is going to be able to pull this back out and pull the uh, air conditioning compressor off of here and probably the power steering pump and then refly it in and see what, how it fits then. Are you ready? See. <laughs> I'm, I'm always ready. Eric, master of the blank look. <laughs> He's <laughs> definitely not ready for TV yet. Guys, this seems like a lot of work. Are we sure we want to do this? <laughs>
um, has done this swap. What do you do? You're not going to get headers involved. You're just going to have to. No, it's, it's got to be manifolds. Yeah. It's got to be manifolds. It's going to be like a tube. Of, of... And so, uh, but I, I recall that there's a stock Camaro or, or one of those that have uh, manifolds that will fit. So we should be fine. But yeah, first, these fuel lines need to be busted loose, pop loose down underneath, and we need to pull them out of the way. Because it's not like these ends are going to work <coughs> on this anyway. You know, there's no way that that's going to made up to this. Well, if we wanted to, we could modify these, chop those ends off and weld tubes on down on farther on there or something. Well, but you're talking they're made of cast iron, weld and cast iron. It would just be easier to find the ones that fit. I believe they're out there. If you guys know, definitely drop a comment down below. And if anyone wants to come help too, that would be cool also. <laughs> if you'd like to donate to this project. Yeah, donations, <laughs> yeah. By our subscriber count, you can tell we are not a monetized money-making YouTube channel. So, All right, so with the exception of the transmission being filled up by the jack. See, oh, yeah. You guys were like, no, we have to make our own. This is, definitely would not have happened tonight. No. no. But, dude, it is sitting in there and it doesn't look like it's just squatted down. But you can see. There's a V8 in my Jeep. There's a motor mount there. There's a motor mount there. And if we go underneath, we you can see this is the uh, where the, tran the transmission cross member goes. And you can see up Start, there is the. Uh, mount and so at least when we're running this thing in two-wheel drive we'll be able to make a cross member that goes across here that with a part that reaches up and grabs that and supports that so doable doable we're getting closer i don't know that little white truck that i've been driving eric how does this make you feel frightened <laughs> no this is awesome there's a v8 in this jeep that is pretty cool it took a decent amount of work to even get to this point, so I'm excited. A big undertaking. All right, so now I mean, we pull it all back out. I remember hammering on that pickle fork with all my might for some reason. <sighs> all right, time to pull the engine out. Again. So while we're doing this, a really common problem for this engine is for the back exhaust uh, manifold bolts to break off. So we'll, we'll want to put all new exhaust bolts on this thing, but it's a lot easier to get to it now than when it's in the truck. A little penetrating oil and a pair of ice grips. I like penetration. Oil. <laughs> I like oil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, tonight we test fit our engine into our, uh, our pickup and we identified some issues we've got to contend with. The uh, exhaust manifolds don't work, so we're gonna to need to find some exhaust manifolds that fit. The accessory uh, mounts for the power steering pump, the alternator, and the air, air conditioning don't work, so we're gonna to have to find new mounts for that. We've gotta figure out um, and make a transmission uh, uh, cross member and then we need to uh, figure out what we're gonna do with our wiring harness. If we're gonna get a painless kit or if we're gonna send this one off and have somebody um, dewire the crap that we don't need and make it work for this engine. So we've got a work cut out for us. We've got some shopping we need to do. If you guys have any recommendations, drop a, a comment below because we'd really appreciate your, uh, your wisdom, your feedback, and like to learn from people that have done this before. We're gonna do some research. Um, we're watching a lot of your guys' channels um, we look up to a lot of other YouTubers, so we're, we're gleaning information from those guys. And uh, when you see us next, we're probably going to be doing some engine compartment cleanup too. Cleaning up that engine, getting it looking pretty and ready to drop back in. And hopefully buying a whole bunch of parts. So until then, we'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>